I have a few questions for you. Um, Listen to Travis. Do you do you feel do you, do you see people in your home that shouldn't be here at all, just out of curiosity? Yeah. You do. Do you see a gentleman that's bald? Yeah. You do. I do. What does he look like to you? So we're here today with uh, the Petronella family. They've asked us to come out and uh, kind of look at what's going on in their home. What what kind of stuff are you guys experiencing? We I feel very uneasy in the home. Um, a couple of things have happened to me recently that um, I was standing actually at the kitchen table and I had just finished kind of reprimanding my son and the next thing I know I'm on the floor it felt like something had pushed me down the amount of force that I had put onto my body was unreal and I fell onto my knees and then I the chair at the end of the table was completely pushed in and I was nowhere near the chair and then the chair fell on me and hit me in the head so you're physically pushed physically you definitely shelled. Definitely. And it was just you and Maddie in the house. It was just Matthew was standing by the couch and he even freaked out like that. It was not normal. Um, just a couple days ago I was in his room putting something away and it felt like something hit me in the back of the head and I actually banged my head on his shelf. Um, I get strange feelings when I'm at the closer to my son's room at the end of the hallway just a feeling that comes over me of like kind of nauseous just not right like something's not right um, it, most of my feelings stem from that room and down there um, the only other things is just it just seems like it's one thing after the, another with my health I don't know if it's with the home but it's just just an uneasy feeling that I have all the time my son won't go into that room shadows in the hallway Noises that are unexplainable. The mm -hmm. other night, sound like somebody. Our bedroom door was closed. Sound like we were all in there. The dog, my son, my husband, myself, we were all in there, and it sounded like somebody knocked on our bedroom door. It scared all of us. He ran out. Basically, I got a knife. basically, <laughs> to it, it real literally sounded like somebody was knocking on our door to like let me in. Um, but Maddie saw her full body. And, and, and Matthew is your seven-year-old. He's yes. our seven years old. He and has he's, autism. He's autistic. So it's kind of hard to get things out of him. Right. But from what, you know, he has told us that there's a ghost in his room. He won't go in there. Now, he's told you the name that he's given us. He gave a name when we first moved in here mm -hmm. about a year ago. He said, Mommy, Daddy, don't you see Mr. Nice? Mr. Mr. Nice. Mr. Nice is on the bed. And of course we were like, nobody, nobody's there. And he's like, yes, he's right there. Mr. Nice is there. And then about two seconds later, I said, well, where he goes, he's gone now. Hmm. He knows a lot about death, things that he shouldn't know. Yeah. So he doesn't have any experience. I mean, he's not watching programming or anything that contains that kind of uh, no. information. No. He's like still, he pretty much, because even though he's, you know, seven and you would think he'd be watching even like Spider-Man and Superman and Batman, right. he doesn't watch any of that. He literally watches preschool. He's still developmentally. Right. So he's attracted to like, you know, the wonder pets. Okay. So, no, they're not talking about death and, and ghosts on Nickelodeon. Um, strange things like with the light switches, um, all of our lights pretty much are on dimmers. And right. the a couple of times we haven't even been home, and we've come home, and all of the dimmers have been pushed down, just like little like naughty things. It right. feels like right things that are just enough to for you to notice to, something is here. The squawking out of the intercom system a week ago that I disconnected it, and it, still, it still was making noise like it was plugged into the wall. Interesting. 
No power. I mean, I literally pulled all the wires out of it and screwed it, it back in. It sounded almost like white noise to me. It's like, you know, like, it was like just weird. And then it, it started humming. It's like, yeah. mm, 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 like weird. Interesting. What would you like us to do? What, what, what are you hoping we can do for you? Get us answers. What's here, why it's here, and if it's... If it's here for us, if it was here previously, why, you know... Get rid of it if it don't belong here. We're absolutely going to try to do that. Uh, series of investigations, they don't always happen one shot. Uh, sometimes it takes bringing in a, a specialist, someone that deals with other paranormal activity in a different way, and they can help us as well if we need to, to bring that person in. Uh, and I've got a few people in mind, so we'll, uh, we'll see what we get and then go from there and we'll keep you guys posted on anything that we, we capture. So I want to thank you guys for letting us do this. You know, we, we take this very seriously and uh, we want to help. Well, thank thanks you. for coming in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's a newer TV. That TV is not going to give off that. No, but you know what? It's appliances it's, nowadays are more shielded with the exception of. It's like a little more kids level. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. So it's higher. Because then I go up. See? But it's like here at this level. It's like at this level. And then see, when I walk away, I go over here. And then once I leave here, it's going down. See? And this is steady one. 76 degrees. The temperature fluctuation about 2 or 3 degrees. Is there just clothing in the drawers? No electronics inside there at all. I'm 13. 10. 7. 3. What that's called is transient energy. That means that it's not coming from one source, staying in one place, which is what you find around appliances. The fact that it's going up and down means that that is it's moving past this little antenna. It's moving past it. Cold air doesn't do that. That's only going to do the temperature. So it's 13 ounces at zero. Where, just where the little man went into. The following him. 76. What do you got there? <laughs> Four in here. Zero. And this is the exact same spot that the bed has been in. And yeah. this is where he saw him and I was like, yeah, come on, Mr. Nice. And he's like, you're mean daddy. I'm like, hmm. Mean daddy, Mr. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was like right here. And then the book I was telling you about that got flipped is this one. I mean, It ain't gonna budge by itself. That's when it fell over. That was it on the shelf or did it fall on the ground? No, it flipped it backwards onto the shelf. Backwards. But someone pushed it. Yeah. That, that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how that would have. I'll tell you what, in this room, I'll be doing. Like I said, like two. That was at the very beginning. He never said it again, and he's never been afraid to be in here. And I, out of all the rooms in the house, this is the one room where if I feel kind of mm -hmm. not right, I come in here. I mean, seriously, we, we, we're walking around with a zero all the way around. So it's not when I walked in initially, feel safe in here. when I was initially here, it was a four. Right here, it was a four. Yeah, because there's... I can't wait to have but just one more thing. Yeah, so you're not you're not getting what you were getting before. Not nearly as much. I'm gonna do a sweep with that just to kind of nothing. I didn't get any readings off any of the equipment in here.
Yeah, it's interesting because he wants even my husband to sleep in here. So he must know, okay, we're all good in here. And that was the other thing that scared me too. When they were both in that room, that's when she first got sick. And then I was staying in that room every night when I was coming home from work because I was getting home so early in the morning. I'm like, oh, it's you know, 6 o'clock in the morning. I want to wake them up. Right. I went from 201 to 1... Teddy. <laughs> what was that, like 178 to 180, somewhere in there. Right. And just in a matter of a month and a half, I dropped 20 pounds. When I first got sick, I was sleeping in that room. He wouldn't let me leave him. I slept in that room all night. That's when I first got sick. And then I'm like, okay, I can't do this anymore. I can't sleep in his bed. And then I started... Go down to Matt's room. Whoa. Now you got something. If there's anybody here in this house, anybody at all that would like to speak to us, any spirits, we have a device in the room that will pick your voice up and we can actually hear you. So feel free to tell us why you're here. I'd be curious, uh, Suzanne, to know if there was a power source behind there. Yeah, I would too, because it's right behind this, this one. Cause see, if I go up, Nothing. it stops. And there we have it again.
Can you tell us one of our names? Who else? Did you hear Matt? What's the child's name? Say Brit House. Do you want Circular right there. To let us know that you are Andrea's grandmother. It's not with the bed. There's nothing, there's not like an electric blanket or something on the bed, is there? So, Just right there, the, yeah, the light of the fish. That's wow. It. See, it's right around the bed. I'm going to put it up on the pillow. Oh. I mean, there's nothing there to give off. Look. I'll go back down. Can you see that, Dad? Yeah, but it's not. But it couldn't be bouncing that far. There's no way. I mean, the light's pretty high, but. This one's three, this one's four, this one's flashing, this one's two. Which what's, is three. What's it's almost say? three. It's almost three. So they're they're all pretty accurate. Yeah, they're all pretty around the same. I don't know, this that's this has gone to three now without moving, so it's mm -hmm. dropped. It starts about right about where Linda is on the bed. 
and it goes to about. Oh, there's on the light in there. No. It seems like it's surrounding the bed, right? Yeah. Is someone hiding under the bed? As soon as we get it off the bed area. It's fine. Air conditioner's off. Go outside again. It's a two. And it's higher. Still a two. Look at that. It's not putting off the it's not putting off the energy. Right, so like I said. When it's sitting still, it gives a constant. When it's on, it's drawing more energy, so it's higher. So you're thinking that that EMF has to do with that being on. Yeah. I mean, can it really, can it's producing that much? I mean, it's showing like... Mm -hmm. What the hell was that? That sounded like the gate, huh? Yeah. The gate's open. The gate opened up. That's open. It squeaked to open. It was closed. That metal was right here. How in the hell did it open? There's no wind. Yeah, it was completely dead when I came down and looked. That's what I'm telling you. Close it again, Dave, all the way. I'm gonna go in the back just to see if somebody didn't walk through the back. <laughs> See? That's what we heard. We were, I mean, there's, you can stand up, but there's no wind. And that's let's do, let's do this connecting. again. Ready?
basically, you know, my readings are based off of spirit. Um, so spirit um, is, you know, right, but what I can interpret might be wrong. So if something does not make sense to you, just let me know. And, um, you know, if it's off the wall or whatever, just, just let me know. As I'm looking into your home, you guys, you guys have things placed, you know, and they look valuable to you guys, like it is your guys' energy. But I don't feel like that energy is going into the objects. That love that you guys have for the objects is not going into them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So therefore, you guys need to be able to have some sort of other objects that you can buy. You know, go, go to the store and buy candles and light the candle. Make your home smell nice. But, um, so let's, let's go ahead and um, walk around yeah. the house. All right, so me being in here in this room, for a while, um, I don't sense anything. Although I will say it doesn't feel kind of like when you're talking about feeling at home. Mm -hmm. I think this area feels less at home. Does that make sense? Um, do you guys not interact in this area as much? Okay. 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 Um, you know, I would definitely say try to do something in here to like, kind of make it a little more homey. Candles on the table would be perfect too. Um, I don't know how long you guys planning on, you know, living here, you know, for sure, but, but um, chandeliers are also known to be really good, so, you know, income's good, you know, just okay. a suggestion, so. All right, let's see if there's anything into your home. Again, it just has the same feeling as that in here. Check the kitchen real quick. Kitchens always have that busier energy. <laughs> it's a kitchen you're always cooking and stuff. Um, do you um, do you guys have more conversations in here? All the time, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, just because I'm not, um, I'm, I'm feeling, you know, conversations, I'm feeling more, more disagreements and like, arguments and stuff like that. Like, it feels like if you guys are having an issue, it's in here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um, but the interesting thing about it is, okay, hold on one moment. Um, this might be something I have to research. This might be my homework. Um, I'm picking up, um, to be honest with you, if I'm gathering any information so far, I don't feel like it's um, spirits um, in here. I feel like it's residual energy. Um, I don't know, but this feels like a newer home, you know, especially, I mean, it looks like a newer home, and the facilities look very nice. But I'm wondering if this used to be an old, um, like some sort of Hello. factory. I'm seeing kind of like factory. I'm seeing long, long kind of tube like looking stuff. Um, so I don't know if it's like a factory, but it seems like to me that this area, this neighborhood, seems to be some sort of like an old foundation of some sort of factory or something. Well, the research that I found of Spanish Trail okay. here, this was desert when they developed. Was it? Okay. Before that, I don't know, okay. but I know back, I guess in the 1800s, okay. when California had just started with the gold rush, uh -huh. the old Spanish trail literally ran through my house, okay. like, imposing a map over my house, okay. and I'm getting like, heaviness in my chest. Okay. Um, it literally ran right through here, so I don't know, maybe okay. there was something back then that they kind of... could have been. I don't know. It seems, the, the interesting thing that I'm seeing is, almost like a, like a stack, and then I'm seeing smoke, and so that's why I'm saying like, you know, um, a factory type thing. Um, but it could be, you know, something that they had on the trail, right. you know? It could be, you know, something that they used for survival or something, I don't know, uh -huh. I don't know history. <laughs> <laughs> I should. <laughs> but, um, so pretty much what I'm picking up on is that I would say it, it just feels busy in here, you know, the energy in the kitchen just feels more negative, but it's not spirit, it, it, it's just, it's just the negative, you know. I would say if, if you, 
if you're stressing out more from work, it seems like you instantly come in here. You know, it's it just seems like a negativity pull um, that is just drawn with negativity. So, all right, let's continue. This is an interesting room. Even though there's a lot of stuff in here, it doesn't feel. Hold on one moment. It feels like it needs to be more alive. Does that make sense? Um, even though there's toys in here, does your does your child not play in here as much? This is, is it, pretty much his classroom. Is it? Okay. Yeah, he doesn't really It doesn't it's not play a play. Now. Okay. It needs to be more alive, I feel like. And I mean I see that you're trying to make it alive. If I mean it looks like it, but the energy seems emotional. Like honestly I come in here and I wanna cry. Um I'm it it it, it, it I don't know what it is. It's just, I, it's just, I, cry, I just want to cry. Like, that's what I'm feeling like. Um, let me ask my spirit guide something real quick. I don't know if you, I feel like you would probably sense it more than anyone else that is in your house. Does that make sense? Have you felt a female spirit in here before? Okay. To you, does she look, um, I would say, dirty, long, blonde hair? I don't know if you see it in your mind, if you see, if you feel like you see her in your mind at all. If you have, okay. I'm seeing a female um, with a dirty, um, dirty blonde, long hair, um, white dress. The interesting thing is that she is not associated in this home. She did not pass away in this home. She is literally a wayward spirit, how I was talking to you. You know, does that make sense? Um, I feel like it's connected to maybe a neighbor. Um, I feel that he senses something, feels stuff as an empathic, not quite sure sees, but I would say he feels more than anything. If he cries more in here than anywhere else, then that would make sense because he's feeling the emotion of the woman. The woman is not harmful. She's just, she's sad, which is going to make the people in the house sad. You know, right. does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. How do we get rid of her? Um, this, where I determine that I'm going to do energetically uh, house cleanse for you okay. guys. Um, I will be doing uh, spiritual mantras in here. Um, pretty much, basically what I'll be doing is using my crystals and using the divine energy source and uh, clearing out the negative energy. What I do need from you guys though, is when I do that, um, if we can open, can these windows open? No, we can um, open the door sure. to paint the shut. Okay. We can open the door. Oh no, okay. Um, we can open the door for sure, but what happens if there's no circulation um, as far as energy goes? When you're trying to get a spirit out or energy out, it needs to leave. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so it sucks that your windows don't open. <laughs> I, it really does. I have seen that to him so, a million times. Yeah. Um, it feels like you can't even open the exactly. windows. It feels claustrophobic. Yeah. I really don't feel good at all. Yes, are you not? Can we open the door now? Can, do you want to open the door, Travis? Would that be okay to open the door? Yeah. yeah. Maybe because it feels like the air is. Um... Is it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. My pulse is normal. Everything. I just feel like. Let me. Well, the interesting thing that you said about that one uh -huh. is that's where I do a lot of my hobbies. Okay. But that will be the room that I start to not feel good. I start to have like the feeling when I get sick, okay. when my symptoms come out, I, that's usually where it starts. Okay. But I've also tried to like not be afraid of being in there, and that's also why I do some of my hobby and try okay. to do the positive things in there, if that makes any sense to anybody at all. <laughs> no, that makes sense. No, I, it makes sense to me. I'm, um, let me ask my spirit guys something real quick. Hold on. Okay. It's weird that they're telling me this is coming up. Um, I'm sure you guys would know if this was happening. They're showing me carbon monoxide. No, I do not feel like you guys have a gas leak or anything like that. Um, this, you know how I was saying something about the factory? I'm wondering if something was here before and it might just have residual energy from it. Does that make sense? If there was a trail, did 
you know, I don't, again, I don't know history or anything, but, um, you know, there's something linked with gas or something with smoke and gas. Um, do you guys get headaches um, frequently more? She does. Okay. Okay. That makes sense then. All right. All right. Let's continue. Yeah. And then let's see if we can. And if you guys feel like you need me to help your guys' energy, let me know. Are you okay? Do you want me to? Yeah, I'm good. No, okay. I'm good. All right. For now. All right. If I pass out. Alright. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very interesting room. Great. Mama. At first, when I walked in here, I felt. Um, oh. Right. I, I, I felt good at, at, at the top here, you know? And then when I walked over here, it just feels... Okay, you guys have a vortex. Um, which means that anything you know you can come through. Does that make sense? Yes. The vortex, I would say, is right here. Do you feel anything in this gym area? Kind of like an open door. It's a portal, pretty much. Um, I don't know how they're open. I don't know. I've been in other people's homes where they've had it as well. They're very hard to close. One thing that you can do, though, is um, you. I, I when I walked in here, I saw the cross at, right there. Mm -hmm. Bring in your guys's faith and belief more into the home. Does that make sense? Whatever you guys believe in, bring that in. Because what that's going to do is that's going to shut off any negativity whatsoever. Literally, I'm standing right now in what I feel is the portal. Which is weird, is because I'm angry. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you right now. And the sickness that you're feeling is, and we're going to figure out in the kitchen as well. I want to go back in there after I, you know, walk around the home. But... Your guys are feeling so overwhelmed with every, all the energy coming through in and out. Literally, it's making you guys ill. Um, I'm going to ask um, Brian and Linda where I can get crystals. Um, if you guys want to either come with me sometime, uh, so you know when I'm out here again, mm -hmm. I can go crystal shopping with you guys. We can get crystals. A good crystal that would be good in here would be selenite. Selenite is a healing crystal. It will, um, it takes out of any negative energy and it cleanses itself as well. So most crystals don't cleanse itself. Right. Selenite is one of the ones that do. Um, also, uh, I think kyanite does as well. And um, kyanite is what I'm wearing right now. Um, what needs to happen is I'm, I'm going to try to close the vortex as much as possible after we walk around the house. Um, but the only thing that's hard is I've noticed in the past when I've closed them, they sometimes seem, if it's a natural one, it seems to always find a way to reopen. So that's why I say bring faith into your home as much as possible. You know, whatever you guys believe in, put it on the walls. You know, um, put positive quotes. Have you seen those quotes mm -hmm. that you can put love, live, life, that, mm -hmm. those stickers that you can put? Mm -hmm. It would be awesome if you guys have these in your home. And that's going to take in the negative energy out. Um, so okay. let's go in here. Okay, so the energy from out there kind of stops right here, I feel like. Um, and then in here, I just, I don't know, I don't, I feel better in here. I feel like I want to hide in here. It makes it. sense to me. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense to me. Okay. I feel positive energy in there. Uh -huh. um, it's the strangest thing, but that painting on the walls was painted for me by my father's mother. And okay. when I'm in there, I feel like she's with me. Gosh. I know it's the most bizarre thing because it's the bathroom, no. but it's a room that okay. feels very safe and comforting to okay. me. I don't know if it's because I hung something that she 
painted specifically for me. Do you mind if I touch it and just no. kind of feel the yeah. energy of it? Is this the light here? Uh, second one. Was I, when I was, I don't remember my readings very well, so I apologize. When I was reading you, was the, was she the one that came through? No, that was my mother. It was your mother. mother's father. Okay. Okay. Hold on one moment. This is really interesting. Um, you know how I was telling you about with flowers and nursing and plants. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I, I, I don't know what it is yet, but it seems like it's linked to that. I don't know if it's an interpretation of, oh, they're trying to show me the picture of that or something with that. Um, but instantly, um, when, I, when I touch that picture, it, it, it honestly feels complete love. It, it feels um, amazing. I, it, it, it's like a cleanser. Does that make sense? It, it's, it's almost like it cleanses your energy. Mm -hmm. um, she would she go as, out of her way to help other people from what you know of her? I mean, literally, I'm feeling like she was an amazing woman where she would step her own boundaries just so she can help somebody else. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. Um, I feel like I can see why which is weird because it's small <laughs> and you know so but it makes sense to me and I feel really good in here um keep that painting there for sure you know um use it you know use that room as your escape you know um I would say leave that room the way it is you know for it to be feeling that great it just seems like you need to be able to keep that so, so let's move move forward <laughs> um, okay, so to be honest, um, when I when I come in here, I, I instantly feel that gentleman that I describe. I've been describing to you, um, but I'm confused because I'm there's a feeling that, of that gentleman that I did not pick up when I was in reading you um, and and your child. It um, you were saying. It, you feel like, or it might be your cousin, right? All right. Now, I'm going to ask a question, and, and this will determine whether if this is your cousin or not. Um, was your cousin, um, at, from what you know of, um, had depression at all? Or he... He did not, but there's a link with depression with him. Okay. Um, why... I don't feel like he committed suicide, but why am I feeling like it? Why am I feeling like it? Because his wife did. Okay. So he didn't, but his wife did. Okay. All right. This is really interesting. I honestly feel like the spirit that I picked up with you and your child is your cousin. Because it, 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 it feels to me, I mean, suicide, but not him, you know, which you said it was his wife that committed suicide. Blue shirt, um, how you describe, now, I don't know if he was that big or not, you know, the interpretation that I'm getting could, you know, I always remember him having, like, a, a pot belly, but oh, okay. I don't remember not him as like, being, like, it was huge. Um, but he had a daughter okay. that was morbidly obese. Okay. He was supposed to have a son. Why? Why is there no son? You don't know about that. Do you know if, if his wife had a miscarriage or anything like that? He was so young. I don't know. 
I don't know. I have my aunt okay. would know all that. Try to see if you can find that information. The reason why I'm picking that up is because it seems, number one to me, it seems like he wanted a son and he didn't get a son. Number two, there was an odd, weird connection between him and his daughter. Does that make sense to you? There was that love there, but there was instantly a, it's like a yes. magnet. It's just a magnet. It's like She married outside of their faith. Okay. They were Jewish. Okay. And he pretty much disowned her. Okay. So that's the separation, the magnet, where it's like that, and then it goes like that. Okay. Um, he's here is because he's trying to still finish his work as a spirit. He never really got to have the family that he wanted. Does that make sense? So he's trying to help your son as much as possible, knowing that he's autistic, to help you guys as much as possible. But he's not realizing he's kind of, kind of bringing his own issues, energy, <laughs> into the home. Um, now, this is completely up to you guys. I can't just go into a home and force spirits to go away. I need to ask permission for them and you guys that do you want your cousin to be here but lower his energy? Because what I can do is I can tell him, you know, you can be here but you need to not influence, you know, you guys energetically. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I have to, you know, if you want me to do that, I can. Would you want to? He can be here as long as he's not bringing his, yeah, like okay. the fact that he's upset yeah. over. Check your issues at the door, basically. Right. Okay. Um, he's looking out for me and my son, that's fine. Okay. I mean, I, I, Perfect. Was, I loved him. Okay. So. Perfect. Just, just don't give me your just, other stuff. I don't need it. <laughs> yeah. Um, to make things clear, he has crossed over. Okay. Um, but. It, it, it's almost like um, he needs to be able to figure out his own stuff. He needs to realize that what, you know, what he, what he wanted in life, he's trying to gain that with you guys. You know, he's trying to bring the family closer, pretty much. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Hence why probably that came into the reading as well for you and your son. Um, but he also needs to understand that he needs to lower his energy so he's not affecting you. Um, I'll try to close the portal and then come in here after and make sure that he's not going to affect anyone. So. Okay. This is like call me. Do you, do you take that sometimes? Oh, really? Oh, you guys yeah. all, okay, so yeah. you guys just have this? Okay. Yeah. That's never good. Alright. Do you tell me that I'm... Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. If, Travis if this gets too personal, quick. let me know and I'll back away. Um, do you ever feel, when you're in this bathtub, do you ever, when you're taking a bath, does, does something come over to you where it's almost like, what's the point of anything? It's a complete sadness. Um, I don't, I, I'm hesitant to say it's, it's, when I read you, I don't feel suicidal, to be honest with you. But when I feel you and the tub, <laughs> there's that connection of what's, what's worth living. Does that make sense? Um, you need to understand that you have an amazing family, okay? I feel the love between us, like you guys. Your, your child is amazing. <laughs> but, you know, this connection, <laughs> I, I feel weird to say this connection between the bathtub and you needs to stop. <laughs> no more beds. <laughs> you guys are totally close there. Um, it, I don't know what it is, and maybe you can help me figure it out better, but when I read you, I don't feel that feeling, and I don't feel that feeling in the other room. So, what is that? Basically, this is, you know, I'll just sit down and okay. cry. And... Okay. Brain or my ability to pick yes. up on it. I do believe that everybody has, you know, the ability to communicate and listen mm -hmm. to spirits, their family, or spirit guides. And I do believe that they are trying to communicate with you, but you're just, you're right, you know, you're just not listening, you know. And, you know, you're, you're not the only one, you know, a lot of people right. out there, especially tons of my clients that I read, I always tell them, like, you need to listen, you need to listen. 
but it's hard because some people don't know how to listen, you know, especially with your personality. If you're more logic, you're more of a, more of a logic person. Right, everything you're has more an in explanation. Your head, to where someone who's more into your in their head is going to have a hard time clearing their mind because it, in able to listen to your spirit guides and other spirits, you need to be able to learn how to clear your mind. Um, we'll figure it out once we walk through your guys' home. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you this, if you have tons of stress in your home, you're creating a negative energy for yourself. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Absolutely. You are opening the door to negativity, which can feel like paranormal. Mm -hmm.